This program is intended for a mature audience. If you are not 18 or older, stop listening and find more age-appropriate content. This show will cover topics in a satirical manner. If you are offended by any content herein, that is your own problem. As you have been warned, please do not try this at home, or anywhere else for that matter. And now, for the most famous words in motorsports. Oh, hell no! Hey, hey, I'm not GTP Johnny anymore. Okay. My car has been sold. You still have a GTP? But still. Yeah, I'm, I'm AFD Johnny. AFD. <laughs> no, that would get you even more tongue tied. I'm Johnny. <laughs> more tongue dead? Sorry, more tongue dead. I'm to do a mulligan. Am I on? Nope. Yeah, I'm. Somebody unplugged your microphone. Hee <laughs> hee. Go ahead, try it. Hey. Nope. Nope. Uh, now try it. Hello? There, it is. there I am. And uh, let's try this again. Welcome to Blown Pistons. You, you want to you do the intro over again? Or yeah, the what the hell? <laughs> it's, it seems to be a th- thing we're doing now. <laughs> nah, let's not. Uh, well. So now joining uh, us, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Johnny. All right, guys. I'm your host, Gremlin Dave. Let's try this again. I know uh, AF... D whatever Johnny across from me. <laughs> just Johnny, man. Just Johnny. <laughs> the artist formerly formally known as GTP. Right. Now he's <laughs> AFP, AFD, AFC, just Johnny. something like <laughs> AFD. <laughs> just just Johnny. Okay. <laughs> and to my left, Mike. Just Mike? Just Mike. I don't know. Michael? Geek Daddy. Hello, the children. Pimp master. From the Geek man, Daddy Solutions. <laughs> the man with the mystery guitar case. There's there's no mystery about my guitar case. The man who doesn't play guitar but carries a guitar case. David, can you? Well, I make people sing. Barely. But that's for another show. I think he's ha- waiting for a, a little mic on mute there. Doo-doo. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Hey, I can Whoa. barely hear you. Hey, Mike, there's no uh, snare on my headphones. Oh, God. <laughs> last night's episode. No oh shit God. for you. Did you listen to last night's episode? Not yet. I I was pretty excited about it. I was like, oh, man, like, you know, Shots from the Balcony is going to be going live at like 8.30. And I'm like. Dog. Eight, <laughs> eight, Dog. <laughs> yeah, you're you're good. Dog. 8.30, 8.30 came around, and I was just like squirrel. <laughs> Dude, 8.30 came around. At the moment the m- music cuts out. And I'm about ready to say something. Kenny fucking just bursts in. I can't hear shit on my headphones. <laughs> I'm like, what? I what can't even do the. In- I can't even do the intro now, Kenny. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he pretty much. Uh, yeah. We, we even what trolled. Else is new. Oh, well, we trolled the listeners too. We fucking restarted the show <laughs> nice. <laughs> while the show was going. Mm-hmm. Nice. Almost like what what happened just about two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's exactly what happened. Oh my god, it's a theme. Yeah, it, it it was yeah yeah. yeah. Can someone passed me my Wawa. So today's or I had a pretty exciting day yesterday. It would have been easier for me, Johnny. <laughs> I tried. I'm literally right here. Well, <laughs> well, we got a new table in studio, and I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> it. It's giving me the ability to like slap you right across the there face. You know, it's a little bit easier now. <laughs> oh, a little bit easier. A little bit. You're threatening Michael with a good time. Yeah, true. Michael would probably just turn the camera on and put it up on. Michael will go run and board. get his fucking guitar case. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a rough week. Uh, speaking of which, how are you doing, man? Alive. That's good. That's a plus. Usually, I but, know, like you said, you've had a rough week. I know it's been stressful. So but hey, there's, there's, s- there's hold on a second. Shut Jesus. up! Oh, fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. Uh, Did we forget that lesson last week? <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> but yeah, maybe, just, maybe we shouldn't have him do uh, energy drinks beforehand. Go ahead, David. No, we need up. him to start His smoking pot or great, something. <laughs> we need to start doing pot, you know. <laughs> but yeah, man, we're all behind you. So GTP. So GTP ASS. Ganja ADD. that pussy. ASS. 
<laughs> I ganja that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha that prick. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm one GTP down. All right, that's that's what counts. But and uh, how do you feel about that? Um, it sounds like you well, just got rid of a sexual transmitted disease or something, man. An STI? No, that'd be an STI. Oh, that's <laughs> Tiff. Um, and and Owen, Owen uh, o- uh, Tackhammer did not purchase the STI. He didn't. He did not. Ah, why not? I, I thought he recall. wanted that thing. But I think he's going to be picking up his buddy Ashton's uh, because the on- the only reason that kid's getting rid of it is because it knocks. Hmm. And it's like, yeah, that's an easy fix, pal. <laughs> so our chat no, room, it's not. I know it's not. <laughs> that's an expensive fix. Our chat room today is lively. Just Call me and me. Michael. Yep, just us. Just the two of us. I must have knocked a thousand times. Not. I'm number. I'm cylinder number five. <laughs> oh, jeez. So uh, Johnny said he had news. Well, um, you is know, it a, Michael, is it a boy or a girl? Michael just Michael has some good news. Uh, it's an interesting ass job prospect, huh? Yeah, possibility. Uh huh. Well, no, not a possibility. I start on the sixth. That's oh, awesome. I thought you were already working. No, oh. not yet. And I, I was kind of made this joke before the show that uh, he he gets into diesel motors and now he's wearing flannel. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> flannel beard. <laughs> and he's just he's got the apprentice length right now uh pretty soon after about a year he'll have the grand wizard well, we, we was, can call him you know we, we'll be able to hold call up, him hold like, up i'm so uh, white wrong, it's my last name wrong grand saying, wizard wrong grand but, wizard god know, damn it i was gonna call him gandalf you know if he, <laughs> if he keeps at that length all he needs is the blue rocks behind him <laughs> there you go that's a good one <laughs> but um I, I've had one hell of a week too. I had um I had, We've we've all had a <laughs> big week. But I mean I, I honestly mm. lost track of days. It's like, oh today's I have to look at my watch. Oh today's Sunday. Hey, hey. Um because like all my days are molding together now. What did you it's almost just, forget that this was happening? No. Uh, I <laughs> Again. Well originally <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Originally I had a big job scheduled today. It's an OptiCoat Pro job. It's a ceramic coating and uh, That's not the best way to say about your girlfriend. Hey. No, no, hey. no. He gives her a a well, another small white job. coating, but <laughs> it's a small job. It's an interior job mostly. <laughs> yeah, she's tiny. <laughs> yeah, I have to I was meeting John. It, oh, that's her knife set. It's mainly just uh just <laughs> interior wall painting. But that's when she's out of town. <laughs> <laughs> so um, originally I had this uh, pretty pretty good coating job lined up, and then he comes in, and uh, he was on the fence when we talked the other couple of times. I'm like, look, man, YouTube it, Google it, or OptiCoat Pro, and uh, like every review that I've seen on the YouTubes and everything has been fairly positive. Have you used it yet? I... I've used a their two year coating, which is a semi permanent ceramic coating. I've done that a couple of times, and I really like it. So I, I told him that too. I'm like, look, I've never applied these two yet because I had to buy into the company, and the, the two years consumer grade. So these are actually professional grade because they they also include a a warranty through Liberty Mutual. Will you be planning on using them? Yes. Okay. The the Optica Pro they sent me was for demo use only. So it's for me, no warranty on it, but it's just for me to get familiar with it. Mm-hmm. But I don't have a car to do it in anymore because it's like I don't want to remove the two-year coding I just put on my car. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> uh, I, I was, <laughs> I was going to put it on the Trans Am. Can you put that on a motorcycle? At, yes, you can. Yeah. You it's can. Uh, six, five ninety nine, so 600 bucks for a motorcycle. And um, anyway, the... But, um, yeah, I've done two year. I haven't done the five and the seven year because I was a professional grade. And um, yeah, I just, yeah, I was going to put it on the Trans Am that I was looking at. But then it's like, uh, I'd rather, uh, it doesn't make sense for me right now at this time to get another car. Right. So I'm going to dump the money I took from my Grand Prix and put it into the shop. So we're, we're relighting my shop right now and it's going to be so fucking bright in there you guys are going to get a suntan good sweet <laughs> good because we're what we're doing is we're doing four lights on each side of mm-hmm. the car two and two and then a, a what light up front and light in back so we have a full 360 light around the car so you don't let the customer come through your front door you let them come through the back door right 
Well, if they come through the back door, they can get a tan as they walk out. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get the soundboard out, aren't you? Damn it. <laughs> well, yeah, we got some new buttons on there. Yeah, uh, quite a few new buttons. Yeah. I, I, went, I went through the library last night and kind of uh, added a couple. So, yeah, one of them was my anyway, favorite on there. So the guy comes in today. So anyway. <laughs> the guy comes in today and is like, yeah, well, I'm, you know, I really want to go with the pro. And I'm like, shit. Don't have the pro here. He goes, well, it's right there. I'm like, yes, but this is mine. This is a demo use only. And then I gave um one of the Optico representatives a call and be like, hey, is it possible for me to apply mine to a customer's car and like somehow get a warranty for it? And he goes, no, because every warrant or every box or the warranty goes with those syringes. So the lot number on the syringe goes with the warranty. And I'm like, okay, so that makes sense. So I had to. You know, we scheduled him for next week now, and he's getting the upgraded Pro Plus, which is seven years of protection. Fantastic. Yep. And to answer Dave's question, before he, the show started, the ceramic coating yeah. is a scratch-resistant ceramic coating. It's chemical-resistant. It's going to resist road salt. It's going to resist, like, harsh chemicals and all that. It's pretty freaking amazing. And it's hydrophobic, so anytime it rains, it just rolls off. All right, that was entirely the... Stop it. So, yeah, I had a busy week, too. Started my new job. Oh, oh where at? Uh, mm-hmm. Or at least, what <laughs> yeah. are you doing? Uh, calibrating mom? machines. Like, uh, calibrating um, stuff like Honeywell machines and shit like okay. that. The big calibrators, you know. So you're not breaking any- anymore? No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Right. Well, hopefully this job is more consistent. And, uh, oh, it is. You- and a lot more money, a lot more benefits, a lot more everything. Does this mean no more campground? I don't know yet. I mean, I mean, the campground's pretty much over with. We got one more weekend left, but yeah. technically I got one day left because we were supposed to work Friday and Saturday. But, you know, we got something going on next Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not doing... Ha, ha, ha. I got mm-hmm. it to work. I know. Like I said, there's some good ones on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But so, squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. Like it, it's it's gonna take a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of shit to know. Like they're saying within. Well, the one guy's been there for about four years, and he's still learning a lot. Yeah. One dude's been doing it for about thirty years, and there's still stuff that he hasn't seen yet. Yeah. So and I mean, there's a lot. It's gonna take a while. It's the guy that you that thinks he knows it all is the guy you got to be careful of, because those guys are dumbasses. No, I don't. Why are you talking about it's Josh only, like that? <laughs> but what I'm no, saying, we only got about we got it's a joke. Six, relax. We got six people that work in the company, and we don't have anybody like that. So that's good. Cause, it works um, out well. It, like even even I'm a professional detailer for like the past ten years. I I don't even know it all. And I will never say I do. I mean, I know I know a lot. I know what I'm doing, but I'll never say I know it all. Right. Like when someone asks me to beat them, it's like, okay, and how? <laughs> how would you like to be beaten today, sir? <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate that. People come up to me and goes, yeah, I'd like a detail. It's like, great. What's your favorite soda? They look at me funny. I'm like, you get the reference because I can do, you know, I can do a lot. <laughs> Yeah, well, the common person doesn't really know that there's different standards to the detail. There's different packages you know, and everything exterior, else. Do you want exterior? Do you want interior? Exactly. Do you want a full polish? Exactly. Do you want you want me to take it you down gotta, to the metal and build it up from the paint on? You got to educate your customer. And I do. That's I do. the biggest thing. A lot of people, like I said, you well, don't really want to treat somebody like they're stupid, but in the same right. sense, it's kind of right. But you want to be actually almost in your mindset begin the conversation this person doesn't know what they want and once i have an idea well, i see, can give what, an idea what that's they why want. i ask them hey what's what don't you like about your car right now and then they'll tell me and it's like the oh, fact okay. that it's a chevy <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> they'll tell me oh well the interior it's just dirty like i'm like okay are you concerned with the outside you want us to stay on the inside and just kind of kind of walk them through the process and then i develop okay it's like if they start telling me about like fine scratches, it's like boom, okay, our platinum's good for you because it includes a buff job. And oh well, I don't care about the outside as much. Okay, well then our gold's good for you because it has a six month wax on it. Oh well, just the inside. Okay, well we can just do the inside. That's that's fine. <laughs> I still gotta get a paint job on my car before I do anything. But I'm debating actually as of tax time, I may get rid of it and look for a truck. Well, man, you got to decide that now because, like, either you're a going to put money into a car, well, or b I've, you're going to sell it 
So there's no point in putting money into a car that you're going to sell. Kind of that's kind of why I um I got rid of my Grand Prix is like I was tired of putting money into a five thousand dollar car. So did you officially get rid of it? It's sold. Yep. It is gone already. It's gone. So now what well, are you driving? Well, it's actually at my mechanic shop right now because it needs a brake. Do you cry? Little bit, but then I ro- uh, rode in it, and uh, he came. <laughs> he told me the next day. He goes, "I don't like the struts or the coilovers." So I'm like, "Well, you got the you got it lowered and everything too." Yeah, it slammed. So it's yeah. gonna make a difference. Yeah. What's mm-hmm. the guy thinking? He's getting. Oh, he! I told him like right out. It's sure, not a caddy. I, I told him flat out like, "Look, dude, this car rides really uncomfortable." I didn't personally mind so much hey. because I, it was a show car. For Wait, me. we forgot something in the introduction. What? We did. Yeah. What? What's that? Who's this show sponsored by? People. It is yep. sponsored by <laughs> Resurrection Vapor. <laughs> Geek Daddy. Sponsored by, this show is brought to you in part by Resurrection Vapor at ResurrectionVapor.com. Several lines of the most fantastic juices, all made from across mm-hmm. the United States, brought to us by our fantastic sponsors. Also brought to you in part hey, hey. by... Does, uh, does Just... Vape Walkie have Resurrection? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, let him get through this. Hammer, do you want to handle the other? Vape Walkie in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Uh-huh. Check them out for the most high-end the quality products in the vaping industry in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Oof. You can also visit them online at vapewaukee.com. Keep going. Where's that a- F- a- a- FS? ADS, welcome. A- ADSMR radio. No, there's this like FSMR Ooh. or something like that. On- ADSMR. <laughs> it's like... I, you could have gotten Go Swifty, buddy. Yeah, that would have worked would've a lot better. better with this. You gotta get Swifty in here. Yes. This girl it's is time like, to get Swifty. Like, robbed at the Nobody can hear you, man. You yeah, it's it's way too loud. The, <laughs> this, the soundboard on that one was way too loud. And girl, nobody can hear anything you were saying. Is just this kinda, girl's getting robbed, and she's all like, oh, that's nice. And the robber's like, I'm here to take your money. And just like really like low What is this? Tone. A commercial? It's uh, something on YouTube. It's like oh. like college humor or something. Anyway, they're like, in this gun. <laughs> it's, that's it's, that's your humor. That's what gets you going. Girls no, getting robbed. It, it was pretty funny. Hey, everybody's got it a was kink. a funny spoof. I mean, good me. point. Yeah. I kidnap them, he robs them. And you chloroform them. Mm-hmm. And Hammer just fondles midgets. Yes. Now he you know, tea bags them. See, shouldn't it be the other way? Shouldn't it be I go in first, chloroform, you, then you kidnap, and then he robs? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, Bad Habits Network has another business plan. I mean, I think we've got it covered. Insurance fraud for hire. We just need to get rid of this. We just need to figure somebody for disposal. Kenny. Good point. He does have a truck. Shit. Rock River. <laughs> well, hey, uh, sorry for the FDI, FBI coming, man. <laughs> nah. That's a different white van out front. For now. Is, it, is that the one that says free candy on it? Yeah, that I one's know. for you. <laughs> no, it's on the side. Yours is the one where it's got on the side, brand new Pontiac inside. Yeah, right. <laughs> Trying to be like, ooh. <laughs> Pontiac's back. No, it's not. It is dead. <laughs> it is dead. Deader than a doornail. <laughs> sure, it, Dave. It, dude, really? Yeah, it's coming back as soon as Link, or as soon as Mercury comes back. I, I guarantee so. that'll be back as soon as American-made products are back too. Good luck with that one. Hey, it sounds like someone's here. Uh-oh. Survey says. Holding it. Well, it's either the pizza guy. No, the pizza's here. Uh, oh, Kenny. Nope. Tiffany. And, oh, uh, Tiff. Tony. Hey, Tiff and Tony. Hey. Get Swifty. Yo, yo. And Hello. joining us. Nope, she's gotta pee first. It's John Cena. Well, has Tony got to pee? <laughs> well, you know that's that's the penultimate relationship go- goal. You know, she sits down and spreads her legs. You know, you go right through the hole. That's a relationship. Or, goal. or if he he sits down, and that's, she sits on his lap. <sighs> so Tony. <laughs> no, okay. Well. To my right, I'll introduce Tony. <laughs> What's up, guys? Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tony? How's it going, uh, my man? Oh, it's been a, a while and crazy couple months. <laughs> no shit. How'd you love that uh, rain-soaked storm on the way down? Oh, it sucked. I mean, yeah. it, some spots you couldn't even actually see in front of you because of the fact that there was so much, like, 
tire spray. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a snowstorm. I know. Guys, I just drove down 43 to get here. So yeah. Did you guys take 90 down? Uh, 151. 151 to 90, yeah. Uh, all right. Sweet. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Well, I might as well get my NASCAR shit out of the way. Yeah, get your NASCAR get shit out of the way because I don't watch it. Brad won Talladega last Good week, shot. so. Okay, are we good now? No. Why don't you just press one more get it out of your system for a no, couple minutes? No, no, you, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, that works, actually. <laughs> so Brad won the... Uh, Brad won Talladega last weekend, which, you know, that song actually works pretty well for that. <laughs> oh, hey, can I, can I... And he's in the... Hold on a second. He's in the final eight, so he made the next round of the playoffs. Can I, can I pimp an event? Probably. Hold on a second. And joining us also, Tiff. And Kenny the Midget. Oh, holy shit. And Kenneth the Midget. Speaking of uh, so body So either removal. Tony or Tiff <laughs> is getting a lap dance. Take your pick, guys. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Actually, apparently it's Tony that's uh, manning up for this one, so... <laughs> I'm Actually, going to learn this board. They haven't heard the new intro. Is there any way to play it or no? Um, yeah, we got a brand new intro. We uh, brought it out today. Oh, really? Yeah. And Kenny's mm, speakers or I headphones. Probably can. Uh, is the extension still over that way? Which yeah, is no. I got. It. I have another one. Well, no. There's one running that way. Okay, that's his. Here, this should work. No, I got one going. Just give me one second. Oh, okay. Yo, Hammer, these kids want to hear the new uh, B- or, uh, BP intro again. Again? Yeah. There it is. They can download it when they're done. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Rule 11, folks. Thanks for the download. So anyways, it's basically, you know, same words, but it does five-finger death punch. Nice. Oh, Nice. So. It's pretty awesome. I, I'm a huge yeah, fan of it. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you. A lot, a lot. So yeah, it's Johnny it's Beery. pretty good. Thank you. Uh so No, nah, I'm good. I found out last night you can't drink that shit too fast. <laughs> Sitting there walking around Woodman's and all of a sudden felt like I was getting gut rot. Hammer! Well, yeah, and unfortunately, they only have bathrooms have on event? one side of the damn building. Related event? No, they got them on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well. Huh? Okay. All right. So I wanted to let people know that uh, if they want, or anybody wants to, like, kind of learn how to take care of your car, like, detailing wise, that there is a car detailing demo or with uh, Chicago Auto Glum at the Gearhead Workspace down in Chicago. Um,. Yeah, it's 305 West 34th Street in, like I said, Chicago. Um, they'll, it's a car detailing demo if anybody wants to go down and take a look. And, um, you familiar with the Gearhead workspace, Dave? Um, no, what is that? A gearhead, the Gearhead workspace is a really cool environment. It's pretty much a mechanic shop that you rent the floor space from. You rent, uh, they have a hoist there. They have power tools. Um, that's all, your mic's not on, but they all have... Oh, uh, hit the button. <laughs> they all have like um, like tools there, air tools, hoists, like mechanical, uh, like uh, trained mechanic professional um, tips and everything. You want to make sure she's plugged in? So nobody knows I'm here yet. <laughs> huh. You should be plugged I, in. I don't know what Can her... Mic- well, follow the cord. Her cord. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that actually works. You can hear it. Turn, turn the gain up. And in the meantime... Hello. It's John C. <laughs> there it is. Try the gain now. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. It was such one of our studio mics. I had to push oh, a button. <laughs> We're making that a button. <laughs> hey, you have to admit that sound bite worked there, too. Nobody was oh, talking. Man. Hello. Is it John Cena? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ah, so anyways, what were we doing now? He was okay. announcing. Yeah, so um, basically what uh, it says, learn how to revive your, your dull and damaged paint at the Chicago Auto Glum Detailing Demo. 
It is a demonstration in the Gearhead workspace and Auto Glam to instruct proper paint care and protection. Huh. When is um, that? That's November 5th. <laughs> uh, right after all the snow comes. And then uh, then we have a... Uh, that's where I thought he was going with. And then uh, day, or oh, gear, really? Dickie, what's happening with BHN on the 28th? On the 28th, we will be at Veterans Vape and More in McChesney Park, Illinois. From 8 p.m. to 1 p.m. Because I can't remember the goddamn address because I'm the one who built the fucking poster. <laughs> Damn it. Again. <laughs> from 8 p.m. to 1 p.m., there's going to be some, what, 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. We've good, done long-ass shows before. <laughs> yeah, wait. Yeah. Hey, I still have a small hangover, and I'm now drinking more beer, so fuck your couch. Well, that'll eliminate the hangover. Exactly. And then I'm having a, I'm having a fill. Who doesn't little. stop drinking never gets a hangover. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm Kenny. When's the last time you stopped drinking? Uh, 1995. And then I myself am having a filled a lot uh, at my shop. Um, the, uh, the this weekend as well. Um, you know, free hot dogs and some stuff like that. We're just gonna sweet try and sweet. pack the lot again. <laughs> Johnny is running a daycare on Fridays. <laughs> Apparently, man, like shit. So you're gonna be down next weekend for the Halloween the, show? The, the, Halloween? the event down in uh Majestic Park? I might be I might be like I said, uh my events like afternoon, probably afternoon to two or three, so So at about three o'clock you're just gonna look at everybody and go, Alright, get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to go home. You can't stay here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? That totally sounds like a bong. <laughs> <laughs> it does. You gotta do a longer rip off it, though. Yeah, I, I try. Oh, in that um, case, no, you, you need, need to talk to right. Captain Fourth Place by choice. <laughs> you you gotta talk to, you gotta talk to Hammer <laughs> over there. I still want to Yeah, do that like man breathes like Aquaman. I still want to do an awesome video where we're all like, you guys are all vaping in my car and we get out considering it's a Subaru. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would, oh, that would I work. I got pulled over for hot, for essentially hot boxing myself. It was Hilarious. awesome. Could you imagine? <laughs> Blown pistons. <laughs> that, that'd be funny. <laughs> right? Just all walking out, just falling. Could you do me a favor, hon? Do you my Yep. I'm slowly finding all the shit I lost last night. <laughs> That's so that's proving a point. Hammer's full of hot air. <laughs> I just I always thought that would be Yay. a hilarious video. Like just we should the do that. Sitting there, and then uh, all you see is like every, like the doors open and just a cloud of vape coming out. Of that it. would be pretty funny. <laughs> Shit, I, I'm like sure. Cliche one on one. I'm sure, with some of these mods out, like Hammer has and Geek Daddy has, I'm sure it wouldn't take long. <laughs> My buddy used to have like the underglow. Yep. And then he had a smoke machine underneath his car, so when he had the white underglow bars, the whole whole length underneath, mm -hmm. it looked like the car was floating. Yeah. See, so you guys uh, could do it too because we got zero nick. So we just do Back Wait, to the what? Future stuff. Zero nick, pretty much. Yeah. Zero nicotine stuff like this. Oh yeah. So in theory, you guys could do it too without having to worry about getting any like nicotine or anything like that. Yeah. Or... We also have Nicotine's CBD. not bad. Yeah, CBD is. Tony on CBD would be hilarious. That's what he Actually. needs more of. <laughs> uh, Tony on <laughs> CBD. Johnny. Zero nick CBD. Forgot audio, not visual. Hammer, Hammer, a relaxed sniper. Are you sure you want to go that route? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hey, you know, he's just... If he's relaxed, the other person's going to be relaxed in about five, four, <laughs> three... Send it, send it, send it. <laughs> don't be silly. I'm still going to send it. Wow. I don't the? need that dick pic, dude. Come on. He's not in the Navy. Yeah. No gray bush here. <laughs> no, but Owen will be. I know. I was making that reference last night, Tom. Aw, in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> so what's everybody been up to? Uh, new job. Six new job? Yeah. What are you doing now? I know you said you've been working kind of weird hours, but I didn't know what you well, were up I, to. Well, I changed. I don't work for the Bob's property management company. Table. I know, right? <laughs> you can only put so many streaks in it. Um, nah, kidding. I'm, no, that was bad. Uh, well, if you quit putting your ass prints on fresh paint... 
<laughs> well, if but everyone would fun. quit That's putting my their ass prints on Hammer's door. <laughs> Mushroom stamping the paint? What are you doing, Dave? <laughs> it's kind well, of like a signature without a signature. Hey, well, dude, there was a chick out there that was getting paint, or, well, you know, doing paintings naked and painting with that. Why can't I? Right? <laughs> I suppose. Mm-hmm. I suppose. Um, let's see. Naked chick, naked gremlin. You ever see the, you know, painting by Teabag? <laughs> but anyways, now I... Uh, I'm learning how to calibrate machinery as far as, uh, nice. like, the big Honeywell, like, dryers and stuff like that and scales and, yeah, there it's it's a lot, a lot of work. Oh, I'm sure. But, yeah, but uh, yeah they said it's going to take, oh, yeah, a lot better, a lot yeah. better pay, yeah. benefits, everything else, but they said it's going to take years before I know everything I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So... Yeah, Years it's before good. you know what you're doing. Gee, where haven't I heard that before? Oh, yeah. No, Every just, single thing I've ever done in my life. There's just a lot to it. <laughs> hey, hey. You weren't bad at detailing, all right? All right, that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what have you guys been up to? What have you been up to, Tiff? Not too much. Really, to be honest with you. Just been working and... Getting farther on uh, Frank and Goat? No. No, haven't yet. <laughs> I know I should be, but I haven't been. I just well, the season's <laughs> over now, especially if you're working outside. <laughs> Although speaking eventually. speaking of that, we got a new group that we're gonna. I'm working on uh, us trying to talk to in that, and it seems like it's gonna be going good. Once they're kind of like us when we throw something up in the chat room, usually somebody derails the whole conversation. <laughs> Squirrel Johnny, <laughs> but. <laughs> No, no, no. I was saying that uh, we're working, we're starting to work with a group, but they do the same thing we do when somebody brings up a conversation, somebody kind of derails the conversation. Yeah. But, David? They're uh, (laughs) kind of anti group that we're anti. Yeah. Because they've had a lot of issues. Oh, me too. Yeah, we can talk. Oh, yeah. Me too. Me All right, too. well, hold on. Let me finish what I'm, what <laughs> I'm getting to Charlie here. Charlie Echo, Charlie. <laughs> now Johnny's yeah. with us. Yay, Yay. Johnny. <laughs> but yeah, about time. But, um, yeah, they, they. I was talking to the guy in that he hasn't, like, he knows a lot of people in that community, and I was asking if he knew, like, you guys and stuff like that. He said he didn't, but then I brought up, oh, well, have you heard of Frank and Go? He's like, yeah, I know what that is. Really? Yeah. No shit. So he's heard of Frank and Goat. So they know your car, just they not just you. They just don't know me. They're like, yeah, we know the, most people are All right, like that. Hammer. Like, oh, yeah, I've seen that car. Wait, you're the owner? We need to get her a lower cut. <laughs> Haven't you watched shirt? the fucking videos? <laughs> what do you mean? Hold on, I'm in, I'm in the videos. <laughs> I'm a chick talking. <laughs> yeah, but see, a lot of car guys, it's like, ooh, car. Yeah, and we need I to get know. a higher yeah, cut right. one I, I for Tony. I don't even remember names. I just remember cars. Yeah. Well, yeah, right? That's like, usually, that's who's why that? Oh, that's the guy with the, you know, the... Exactly. Well, the, the Johnny, what's his name now? I don't know, but he's got the Grand Prix. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, well he's changing his name to well, ADD Donny, Johnny no, or something. Not. Just Johnny, dude. Just <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> Fuck. Johnny. Yeah. Just Johnny. BDSM. <laughs> no, that's oh, Johnny. that's an old joke. <laughs> that brings up uh, memories. Hey, I'll be the new <laughs> JFJ. Just fucking Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, um... Yeah, I sold the Grand Prix. The Grand Prix's gone now. Okay. Um, but uh, sixteen-year-old girl is in heaven. No, my uh, <laughs> actually my the no, no it's see, not a Mustang. He's One waiting. Of, he's waiting for the brand new Pontiac Grand Prix to come yeah. out. Well, my best friend, who literally was born a month after me, he he ended up picking it up because he wanted something with a little bit more power than than his TC Science TC. Oh yes. Yeah. And. Um, <laughs> And so he went I, with a Grand Prix. Those are, those are I, I told him, I told him day one. I'm like, you know what you're buying, right? I told, gave him a little ride in it, and I'm like, look, this is not a daily driver. This car rides like a fucking race car. That's what it feels like. It's solid yes, it as does. fuck. It rides like it, but it drives yeah. not like right. it. True, true. <laughs> no, well, like, that's you, Johnny's fault. I, I told him, I'm like, you got to know what you're buying here because. You know, this car. You know, I'm tired of fixing it. That's why I'm selling it. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and what kind of car was that again? <laughs> Oh, Dave, Dave, what kind of car you got there? Mercury? What? Yeah, <laughs> no, Mercury. then a gra- yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. Smoked the Pontiac though. Uh, stock, stock to stock. Who stock cares? to stock, maybe. You see, we need to even it out. Let me throw a turbo on my car, and then we'll play. Hey, you want to play with my new one? It's stock. Yeah, but Let's you got go. a turbo. Let's play. <laughs> if it helps, Eddie, I did really crappy at the drag strip because I got. No yeah, but you got a shit ton more horsepower. Than we both do, <laughs> and lighter. 
So it's anyway, <laughs> anyway, getting on the fuck WCC thing. Um, <laughs> fuck so. Yeah, not to mention she's lighter than all of us, which means see, she's even faster. So like, see, here's what we need instead of fuck the FDA for this group. We have fuck WCC. Hell yeah. So anyway, all right, so we get, we're gonna do that on WCC. three. <laughs> Anyway, what uh, what uh, or all happened? Hey, on hey, this what's is Johnny's kind of getting the feeling of what it's talking, what he's, right? what we're all Finally? talking with Johnny. Five days. Quite a bit of uh, respect for you the minute you finally did that. I was like, yay! <laughs> so what Johnny's happened, not a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was... Not all the time. What happened was is uh, I'm very business focused right now. So Michael, I'm trying, how's life? I'm trying to throw like my business out there to like all these card groups and whatever. I don't post a lot, but when I post, I like it to stay up. Well, they, they <laughs> don't took, we all? They took it down, so I'm like, okay, like fine. Why was it? <laughs> why was right. it? They make a take it down. That. I've never had an issue before. They're like, oh well, we we don't allow that. I'm like, oh, so you guys don't support small businesses? He goes, oh well, that's pretty rash to to say that. I'm <laughs> like, you guys deleted my post of a small business. That's not being rash at all. He goes, oh, well, you could, you could do it on this other group who was like 50,000 members. I'm like, right, but it's not the main group. <laughs> and he's, he's sitting over there crying. I'm like, fine, you know what? And so I, I put a little post saying, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm done with WCC. Like, you know, I, you guys let me down, whatever. And he goes, oh, you know, they start posting me about like, really? And so what I did is I went out to my, my other Grand Prix and I literally took a video of me scraping off WCC <laughs> and I put the caption as, is I don't support those who don't support me. And he's all like, oh, well, I'm tired of this disrespect and uh, one more time and I'm going to... You're gonna, not God, Alex. Yeah. Go Joke fuck him. yourself. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, That's why I'm just... surprised I still have him on my friends list and I'm still really? in WCC. Oh, yeah, I don't, hates I don't post I anything, it. but I just... Love it. I don't post anything or anything. Okay. I just kind of keep an eye on it, see okay. what's out there and what they say. But right. yeah, it's kind of it's have hilarious. Band hours apart. And that's how we started really talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you know, I'm like, fine. You know what? I'm done. Yeah. Now you know why the rest of us are done with that group. That right. group's fucking shitty. Well, like I said, mm-hmm. I don't support those who don't support me. You know, like you know, if you. Right. Yep. I'm like, if you guys or like BHN, they support. You know, they support me. They give me shout outs, you know, and I'm grateful for every one of them. And um, we give you money. Fuck off. <laughs> the only thing I can say though, his his idea was great. Yeah. But the way and what it's become, it's just way out of control and way out of hand for him. He thinks he's mm-hmm. God. That's the problem. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're you, you're an admin of a Facebook group, you are not God. We just need to start group. our own car group. Right. I beg to differ. Oh, wait, that's you think me. He's God. No, me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we do. We got the the Blown Pistons God, Facebook page. Satan. Yeah, but we need our own car group, man. Uh, that's my brother. Yeah. Okay. We'd have blown, you know, Blown Pistons Car Club. Right. I didn't do that yet. Though. Well, I have. I have mm, enough cars BPCC. to fill the gap. We should do that. <laughs> well, if we ever get stickers, you know. Hmm. I know. I only got. I know. I we wonder, talked about it before. Who, show. I who could do that? Yeah. Huh? yeah. I wonder yeah. who we. But we could do like Blown Pistons Car Group. I mean, I have maybe one like like a rear car banner where you got the whole blown pistons across the back deck uh, and then the piston is shooting off into the corners. Well, it's we could do that, or I have um, I kind of took the skull like on your shirt there yeah. of the Bad Habits logo, and uh, they kind of we kind of attached it to the engine. Yeah, we kind of made it like um, had some like I guess dragster headers coming out of the side of it. Like, eight haven't of them. you seen our logo? Yeah, I, where have you been? No, the, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, I, Jesus. I was able to cut her. I got a. <laughs> oh, that's right. Here, hold on. I got some fine tweaking to do with it because the letters don't really come out that great because they're flames and, you know, I'm. I don't yes, know. we have flames. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to toy with it, see if I can get a better product out. But, um, yeah. Scallops. <laughs> Try scallops, Kenny says. <laughs> Right? Scallops, yeah, maybe. Old school. I can yeah. go back to drawing if you really want me to. Hey, if you can go back to I'm drawing. A, that's our logo. Hand these down to him, please. If you, if you can go back, if you can draw something a little bit, you know, better for it, by I all mean, means. I mean, we can, we can update it. I mean, we've been running that one for Ding. two years now. Ding. Running what? Our logo. Like, if we did do a little bit of tweaking. We're talking upgrade. the Vectored logo or the Blown Pistons logo? Blown Pistons. Yeah, but I mean, a year and a half, two years. Yeah, see, we can do a little tweaking and stuff. Mm, what do you need me to tweak on it? Uh, I don't know. Johnny was talking about tweaking. He's a tweaker. 
Yeah, we know that. It's all the fucking detailing fumes. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, um, where are we going? We're kind of lost here. Here, hit a button. <laughs> That's the one you pick. <laughs> yes, yes you are. Just do it at random. What you ne- okay, stop the button. All right, spin it up real fast and just hit a button. <laughs> no, at, the bottom, at the bottom of the list, there's a random button. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and it's working well. What the fuck? Accurate. All right. Nice motherfucker. Hey, it actually worked. You gonna make it, Jerry? I'm right. Do 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 do. Do do do. We're gonna get started to go slow here. Um. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> so, anybody got anything? Kenny. But yes, uh, what I are uh, about the stickers, Dave. I know, I can barely hear the board, too, so I'm hoping about it's coming the, out good. About the stickers, uh, I get busy twice. Okay, DK, yeah, yeah, just go right over me there. <laughs> but, uh, sound good. Hold on. So, no, 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 I, it was good. Trust me, it was good. I just turned it down because it kind of blasted in for everyone that's listening, like the uh, Miss Snarkiness of Oz. So anyway, I get busy twice a year. Hammer and says hi. <laughs> that springtime, I get busy because everybody's getting their car out. As he's covering and his And then I get the busy during the fall because everybody's putting their car away. And I'm pretty, you know, constant, I think, in the middle. And I say I think because I really don't know because I had a job this summer and, you know, I only left my job about a month ago. But since then, we've been busier than, you know. We could. did some detail on work the other day. Yeah. Loaded all cleaned up. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Let's let's put a ceramic well, coat on that. Then you won't, you know. Well, hell, you and I, or uh, Johnny, <laughs> you and I did that dump truck. Yeah, we did that dump truck together. Oh, and I, I think I told you that we got a compliment on that. Mm-hmm. He came back and he goes, "I was in the pit all day. Drove out of the pit. My truck still looked brand new. All the dust just rolled off the truck." I'm like, "Hell yeah!" And uh, now we, uh, he came back again and he wants me to. He he's, might want us to do the interior on it. And I'm oh, like, yep, not a problem. Well, no, that was a small interior. That'd be easy. Yeah. Is that Kenny's it, truck? It wasn't, it wasn't a full dump truck. It was kind of like a, a smaller version. No, it's a. It's an actual, you know, nice size, full utility dump huh? truck, not Fisher-Price dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm saying is it's... Single axle, tandem axle? Single axle. Single axle truck. Yep. Also, it's like a little one-ton. Yeah, it's like... It, it's definitely not like a pickup, but it's bigger than a pickup because it won't fit in the shop, but... It's a single axle dump truck. He does like excavating work, so it's. He does what? A uh, little excavating. Okay. Well, tell you what, if we so want to like if we want to give the uh, midget, the panel to a mechanic, a uh, shot at the uh, shot at the nice microphone. Why don't you get your scrawny little ass over here? <laughs> I'm sitting in it. You can have this one. It's been a long, long weekend. Take your headphones off first. <laughs> yeah, long weekend. You're already three beers into it. <laughs> He's pacing himself today, folks. I promise you that one. All right. Aw. What, you, didn't uh, want, you wanted a midget lap ride? No, I was going to grab a fucking piece of pizza. Oh, what do you want? Meatball. I want somebody to take this fucking chair, and I want Gremlin to take the board so I can get it myself. <laughs> Fine. Fucking uh, Dave. Dealer's choice. What I do? I don't know. <laughs> the answer is yes. We all know that. Penis. Penis. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But yeah, I've been uh, I've been Good loving boy. my job, man. I can't wait to get my new lights up in the shop. I got I just ordered twelve brand new high bays, and I got you. So I'm gonna have Thank six you. bays, in, six lights in each shop. Hopefully, I'm hoping I get a tan when I work because that's how bright I want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to in the kind of and, what you do. Right. You need right. It bright to and see now, every. Now that I'm a um, pro installer through the company I'm working with, mm-hmm. I have access to five and seven year coatings. Oh, nice! So you know, if someone's going to pay me eight to twelve hundred dollars for coating, I'm going to get that painting as close to perfect as possible. Right. So I'm going to you know buff out all the scratches and everything, and I need light. Right. And that right. old building, it just it's rocking the T12s. They're mm-hmm. like you know the fat bulbs. Yeah. No, they're not little. Oh. T8s are little, yeah. but these are 
fat. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll show you my detail more. Yeah, I actually had a guy come What's down. Like? So, anyways, Johnny, what's the name of your shop again? That's Attention for Detail in Whitewater, Wisconsin. Okay, you can address? Find us, you can find a fantastic us. Fantastic <laughs> shop in a perfect secret location. What's your address? 227 <laughs> East Main Street, downtown. Uh, we are literally downtown, man. Like, literally. Like, center Not of figuratively, Whitewater. but literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got a great corner location. Yeah, if anybody's looking to buy a bike, <laughs> we, got, we got a great corner location. The corner's available if anyone else is looking for a job. Um, <laughs> Bad Habits Network has a motorcycle for sale. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you know. Oh, that's at Old Topper. Yep, yep. I'm at the Old Topper place. The if people know Whitewater. I'm I'm in that place. Yep. Well, you're a couple yep. buildings down from the Old Topper nope. place. No, nope. that truck. That place I'm in used to be sell truck toppers. Yep. Truck toppers, no, I was liners. referring to the pizza. Oh, <laughs> that too. Toppers. Mm. toppers Dave. Dave. <laughs> oh, God. That's never going away, is it? No. <laughs> you know what else isn't going away? David's navel. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> next. The next. Actually, I think I have a blue shirt. I'm going to put David's navel. Uh, and like a boat anchor. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> That's it. We we make a BHN Navy shirt just for fucking David's tack n- hammer. You know, if I can get the measurement <laughs> right, I can get the bottom of the anchor right above Dave's belly button. <laughs> mm. So you want to measure me? Not really. I'm just gonna Please. guess. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I can measure you. It's, it's for the show. <laughs> I can measure you. You wouldn't even know it. I bet. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, yeah. Do what? Stop leaving your cock ring around, he said. <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> Actually, not complaining. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and a certain Bob Nacho says, I like belly buttons. Nacho! <laughs> Hammer just had a small orgasm, and by small, I'm referring to his dick size. Fruit fly in February. Shit. <laughs> Do you want over here to talk to him? No. Would you like to say hi? Oh yeah, that's right. You have access to your own chat room over there, <laughs> which he's probably watching porn on. Yeah. Yeah, Again, <laughs> <laughs> see, Dave, Dave, you're giving him too much credit. Yeah, I mean, this coming from a man with porn on his wallpaper on his phone. I do not. <laughs> have my, I have my car on there as wallpaper on my phone. Thank you. Car that porn. can be its own kind of porn. Hey, hey, not I'm not Johnny. Hey, I don't fuck the tailpipe. Only on Fridays. <laughs> oh, God. So, anyways, with this being that time of year, we've kind of went through the detailing. Um, I guess we can talk to, like, Tiff and Tony. What would you say would be the best thing to do to put, say, your race car away for this winter? I would say make sure it's covered pretty well. I mean... It's stable in the engine. Or well, in no, the, guess, or, tank. Yeah, what do, what do you guys do? Especially, like, I know with your Mustang and... There's Mustangs in a cover that my car should be in because the garage is full <laughs> of GTO parts right no, now. <laughs> put on four stands. Get the wheels off the ground. Yeah, that's a good idea. And he's like, uh, get get it up on four jack stands, get Play the wheels the off heart. the ground. Or in my get case, some, put crappy wheels on that you don't care about that keep going flat anyways. But that's just my... That's get just some carpet. <laughs> what about carpet? Do you want to put carpet under there? I heard that's a good idea. Carpet. If no. it's You're not outside... Uh, well, carpet, I mean, Inside. you know, you should really kind of consider trimming the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong show, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Don't pull 70s on it, yeah. <laughs> Wrong show, Michael. No. It's <laughs> moisture. My car's outside, but it's under, you know, two covers, so it doesn't get wet at all. But that's also, it doesn't have any interior in it. it I mean, there's nothing that's going to go bad. But, yeah. Everyone likes the heated garage. If you don't have that, then... Or if you don't have a garage, I would say some kind of cover, at yeah, least. Definitely check your coolant levels. Make sure you switch from your... You may Can't actually want to talk into the mic. Into it. What so about it? All your water-based lubricants over Still not in it. Freeze. Then it's in. No, it's, no, it's no, you. You it's actually you. have to you get gotta out of that mic. You got mic, dude. There you go. You now ha- you can kind of hear you. That's because I jacked really his cool. gain all the way up to full. He could hear a flea fart in another county over. Regretfully. I can't hear your shit. Sure. No, I'm good. <laughs> and no, uh, ch- change stabilizer. all your fluids back because a lot of guys only run water or water based with hyperlube or something like that, and mm-hmm. that actually doesn't help against uh, 
blowing out all your freeze plugs. So yeah. you, you got to put the antifreeze back in it. Otherwise, you will crack your block. But don't make it full antifreeze either because you'll also screw well, it up 50, that way. 50 or yeah. at least 50-50. It, it has to be at least 50-50 because if you put full antifreeze in it, it does the same thing as if you put water in it. It's equally oh, really? as bad. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. That's, the water between the 50-50 mixture of antifreeze and water actually keeps a, a warmer temperature. Um, hmm. the, mix, the chemical mixture itself is actually what keeps it the temperature it is. Don't Too, change it, your oil either. Huh? A lot of guys change your oil in the fall. That's stupid. Yeah, don't worry about that because, I mean, it's not running unless you're planning on driving it. I mean, so you're better off just change it in the just spring. Just change it in the spring. Yeah, you yeah. got to do fire ups all it's not gonna do anyway, anything. So. Yeah. It's not going to do anything sitting there. It's not like it's going to wreck it mm-hmm. by sitting with old oil. You know, you're mm-hmm. just wasting money if you put it in now and let it sit. Because then come spring, you're going to have to do it again because you don't yeah. want all that old oil yeah. in there. My, mine's a hundred dollar so. oil change, so let's not do that. And, no uh, shit, mine I'll, too. I'll I'll disperse a myth right here. Leaving wax on the car because I've heard some people like waxing up their car and letting it sit all winter doesn't help your paint at all Mm-mm. yeah um the best thing you can do is like wax it before you store it or even put a ceramic coating now um that's the best you're really going for that ceramic coating aren't you well he gets 1200 bucks man did you hear him <laughs> it's, Good the, point. it's the best thing on the market <laughs> I though. <would> too. <laughs> it's, it's the best thing on the market because it's double the thickness of wax it's scratch resistant it's salt resistant it's chemical resistant it's a secondary mm-hmm. clear coat pretty much so if i ask you about your kids you can be like they're doing good and i put a ceramic coat of wax on them fuck yeah <laughs> which is chemical resistant Dude, that, that shit goes sailing off their ass now i don't know they, they don't even need wipe. a sled down a hill or snow <laughs> right right they don't even need to wipe anymore it's just whoop i think you're addicted to that ceramic wax like i am brake clean yeah right oh do i like, are you sniffing it no, but it works for everything. Yeah, that brake clean does really good I've on killing bees. I've never been affected with because I get a cut, <laughs> shit, brake clean. Yep. yep. I got eaten up by mosquitoes the whole backside. I remember you saying that, yeah. Yeah, I was just covered with mosquito bites. Yes. Woke up the next day, my back was all swollen. Went out to the garage. Said, RJ, spray my back with brake cleaner. Ten minutes later, cleared. Wait a minute, mm-hmm. doesn't brake clean like dry out your skin? Yes, it does. Yeah, but it's also going to pull out all that. It's going to kill everything. That's yeah. why. It- so does peroxide. For pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho wants to I know just, if we can same uh, shit. <laughs> Cerakote our car. If you can, what? C-E-R-A-K-O-T-E. Silicote? Cerakote. Cerakote. I never heard of Cerakote, but he's... Cerakote oh. is what they put on a lot of rifles and... Yep. Barrels to actually make sure that they don't chip crack, whatever. Okay, so if... If nobody heard that, it's uh, that's what you put on like rifles so they don't crack. Hmm. Like scratch. And scratch. Barrels. Interesting. Yeah, I've never heard of uh-huh. anybody applying that to a car or paint or anything. You don't. You don't. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you had a car that was bare metal, you'd be fine. <laughs> so if you decided you know you wanted to go for a stainless steel look, well, brushed aluminum. So if you have your DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> Holy hell! Yeah, good point. The DeLorean. <laughs> but hey, I got a dollars a pint. Three hundred dollars a pint. God damn! What are we selling? Moonshine. So what that Maybe. Stuff <laughs> I can be happy with that. Which, if anybody's looking for moonshine, just go to <laughs> Bad Habits Network. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not going to be great moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no! It's shit it's made our out resident, of toilet. No, it's our resident <laughs> assholes. It's pretty top notch. He makes moonshine. Yeah. Where the fuck do you think that apple pie in the fridge came from? We have apple pie in the fridge. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> I already said we it. We have fucking apple pie in there. Nobody tells me. I bring home, or I bring home, <laughs> I bring over a shit ton of booze, and nobody says, here, try some apple pie, fucker. <laughs> There's whiskey in my pickup. If you want it, I mean, I always there's always offer. whiskey in your pickup. That's hey, like saying there's ugly people at Walmart. You know, <laughs> hey, did you see that? Um, it'd, that be more, one, that, it'd be more unlikely that there's not whiskey in your truck. Do you see that Jack Daniels? Uh, <laughs> more likely. Do you see a Jack Daniels uh, res- or windshield washer reservoir swap? Yes, yes. I seen that. that- <laughs> A couple years ago. You know, that wouldn't be hard to do at all. No, the guy does it on the video. He's all like, oh, yeah, I just fucking, you know, this guy's Well, it's just like back when we were kids, we used to take windshield washer, right? And you'd run the tubes down to your tires, and you'd use your windshield washer pump Mm, to spray bleach on your tires, do burnouts. Mm, Yep. And our favorite squid-to-be is in the room, too. Hell yeah. Hey, sup, Tack Hammer. That's really good, but I wish it was warm. I like this stuff warm. 
Well, so, like hot? No love and like so apple pie. So put it in your oven. legs and I wait. like it hot. <laughs> Drop there, it like it's hot. Dave, there ain't no love and like apple pie from the oven. Wow, my... F- <laughs> One shot at a time. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't know, last jar of shine I had. That was pretty good. I drank that whole... I, I drank this phone. that one night. That kind of got me a little fucked it up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just a little bit? Oh, yeah. Going on the trip. I had to wake up and drink. Yeah, so that's bu- that button's on here. All right. <laughs> yeah, we played, one. played that a few times yesterday. <laughs> well, yeah, it's us. Oh, man. Let's see. Bob says, all right, the windshield washer tube hack is great. Has he used it? I would... Probably. Oh, that's cool. My problem, though, is I don't think I'd shoot it in your mouth fast enough. Because I'm a heavy drinker. You're, I mean, you're not supposed to shoot it in your mouth. You basically dump it into a cup or something you're drinking. Yeah, that's what that's what dude did. it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my old then why don't you just drink it out of the bottle? Well, have, that's what I'm getting at. It's have, faster. Have the bottle mounted to I'm, the... <laughs> I'm surprised you honestly don't have like a nipple, like a bottle, and just sit there... I tried time. it, but then when you drop the bottle in between seats, it leaks. It's just a pain in the ass. Have, have the you need a better bottle. <laughs> have the bo- bottle mounted to the roof with a straw going into the cab. Let me guess. You're one of those guys that you put bigger holes in the nipple so it comes out faster? Yeah. That's your problem. I'm just it's, well, You're not supposed to do that. I have been cutting back, though. Now I, I'm not drinking it straight no more. At least I'm mixing it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys laugh like it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Like what? You still finish the bottle? Oh yeah, I finished the bottle. Then you're not cutting back. Uh, <laughs> no, see, he, he finishes the bottle and then he mixes it, it inside of his stomach. No, it lasts a little bit longer. Oh. I got a good ratio. I got a half seventy half. to 30. ten to one. <laughs> <laughs> seventy to thirty. That's my ratio. Hammer. I do. Yeah. Seventy to thirty is a good mixture. I forever. Yeah. Except for Bloody Marys, I usually go like eighty twenty. <laughs> Last night I got asked to make a drink, and then when I gave it to him, like, holy shit! So let me guess, you wait till the first date to break out the nipple bottle for her? No, I don't. Hey, if you can't handle my drinking, go. <laughs> like I said yesterday, do you have any blood left in your system? No, probably. <laughs> I have to His blood there. alcohol type is yes. There's no, there's no blood in my alcohol system. <laughs> <laughs> well, it works. It goes good with my. So if you're ever gonna need a transfusion, all you gotta do is go in the store and grab a whiskey bottle. Yep, more than cheaper. An, I, an IVF Jack. There you go. <laughs> well, I'm poor. I drink old tea, old Thompson. Mm-hmm. I can see you though with an IV was just shooting straight whiskey. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. drinking it. Yeah. Makes me feel good. Nice and warm <laughs> inside. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish that. <laughs> At least you know you don't have a tapeworm, right? <laughs> Because that should kill it. (laughs) So break clean. Yeah, right. right. No, internally, the man's (laughs) great. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Internally, the man's clean. Yeah, no shit, man. Except for your liver, everything else is doing great. Get a nice dispenser and a shut-off valve. You can mix it straight with your Coke. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. No. Now we're saying Coke. Yeah. As in Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, maybe. No, I I drink Mm. whiskey and squirt. That, it's just what I like to drink. Really? A whiskey squirt? Yeah. Kenny the midget drinking squirt? Hey, squirt is good. Especially when you're at a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's liver has Kenny's liver is so battered, beaten, and well trained by now, it could clean up the Exxon Maldives oil spill. Hey, you just think about though. Okay, with everything that's happened to me and shit, when I go do my blood work, every, I gotta do blood work every fucking month for. My stroke, my heart attack, and all that shit. So every month I go do my blood work, everything comes back good. It's because I'm a dedicated drinker. Yep. Got to have hobbies, right? <laughs> At least you're not a quitter. <laughs> well, no, he just doesn't let his body come down. It's always in a state of drunk, so there's no shock. No, I mean, I don't drink from the time I wake up until I get off work. I mean, I'm not a f- 100% full-blown alcoholic. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's only two thirds of the day alcoholic. When I was in the foundry, we had a work mandatory overtime, and uh, one of the new guys comes up to me and goes, like in street clothes, and uh, he's like, "I don't think it's a good idea for me to work today." <laughs> Fucking reeks of alcohol. It's like, really, guy? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm well, like, like oh, yeah, okay, guy, go home. <laughs> it helps me though, cause. 
after running loader all day, my yeah. body hurts. Yep. You run across the pit, I got 18 miles an hour. That shit hurts. And yeah. loader, you got. Oh, yeah. There's no comfortability in that either, is there? All day bouncing. Yeah. And like right now, where the shot is, where Crusher is, I got to run fourth gear with my foot on the floor. Yeah. Is that with or without the phone book? Uh, <laughs> no, I just cranked the seat all the way down. Yum. And then I have to turn up because if you crank it all the way down when you bounce, when you bottom out, <laughs> that shit hurt. Well, I'm down to 128 pounds, 130 pounds now. That's just your liver. And you're drinking full fucking leaded stuff, not even the unleaded. Well, yeah, I mean, if I want water in it, I'll mix it myself. <laughs> 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 Everybody's got a routine, all right? Yep. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. Get off yeah. work, you run over, you grab a six pack because it's a long drive home. Yep. It takes me 25 minutes. That's a six pack ride home. Yep. Yep. Then you drink a bottle. Yep. Bottle or cans? Yes. A bottle. Well, they don't put whiskey in cans yet. Yes, they do. They do? Jimmy Coke in a can down Tennessee. Really? Yep. <laughs> Road trip? <laughs> Sweet. What's a, is it a good mixture, though? I mean, it, it's pretty strong. It's a, uh, 25%. Hell, I'm hey, look at volume. Damn, I think I think you just made him pack his bags. <laughs> hey, it's, it's a quick trip, man. You can get down there and back in a day. Uh, Morrisboro, Tennessee to Janesville. In a snowstorm, you can make it down there, pick up a motor, and be back in Janesville in 23 hours. Hmm. And that's in a snowstorm. And 21 of, or in uh, three of those were spent in liquor stores along the way. No, you got to prepare. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and down. Yeah, down Arkansas, like where I'm from, yeah. drive through. Missouri's got them too. <laughs> and bring it right out. Give it right to you. And you want soda to go with that? No, fuck that shit. Yep. I just want the box. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Missouri's got those too. Yeah. They were great, but it's not like good. Uh, up here, we got the drive up liquor stores. These are you drive into it. So mm-hmm. Basically, like an old oil. Side. It's like an oil change place. Yeah, mm-hmm. in a sense. Except they don't change oil. <laughs> That'd be sweet if they did, though. Well, I'd rather do it myself anyway. <laughs> I want to oil change 5W30 oh, and dude. some jack. And <laughs> hey, that, that'd be an interesting business idea. Oil change bottle. There we go. There's <laughs> oh, a new God. Bad Habits uh, uh, venture. Wouldn't that more or less be promoting drinking and driving? No, we're no. not telling people to no, drink. You never drink and drive. You spill shit that way. Is that right? You well, the, get to stop that's time. where the bottle comes in. <laughs> You know, I might turn my waiting room into a bar because man, it's a five hours before I'm going to get done with your car. There you might go. Well have a couple beers. So <laughs> four drink maximum. There you go. Right. So then when they after they What's drive, that? yeah. You give me five hours, I can clear out your fridge in five hours. Right. Hey, <laughs> challenge accepted. Oh, get the B two stealth bomber out there for the race this time. That is sexy. It was <laughs> We're in. Minus all of them. Yeah. See. You do realize you when we do do our booze ocalypse, somebody's going to have to keep me under control. Tony, if you puke nope. in my car on the way that's home, that's the booze ocalypse walking. episode. We put out the warning beforehand. They know it's coming. Johnny, how's it going, I'm buddy? I'm, oh, I'm just installing the cameras, okay? No, somebody's going to have to be the one to go, like, no, red flag the, to me. I still remember the last time <laughs> I Fuck no! Where's all the fun in that? No, <laughs> Hammer knows when the red flag for me needs to go up at times. <laughs> No, <laughs> people are going to pay for yeah. that shit, Dave. Yeah, see, look, look, look. People are going to pay for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. When one of our former people was on, I kind of pissed off Hammer enough to where he was telling the guy I was hanging out with, get him the fuck out of here because I'm about to knock his ass out. <laughs> Which ended up becoming true. He knocked you but out? No, 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 no. Oh. What I was thinking about that other guy. <laughs> You really must have pissed him off, kids. <laughs> no, but uh, I remember yeah. when some pussy wouldn't come drink with me. Yeah, because I had to work. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> I was what two days into a new job, three days into a new job. I'm not going to show up smelling like alcohol. Well, whatever. My guy Mike does it all the time, man. My guy Mike drinks heavy beer on the weekend, and working in a metal foundry is a pretty hot environment. Yeah, you sweat it out. Sweat it right yeah. out. Yeah, you walk by him like. Holy fuck, dude, That's you, you know, like had a, a decent brewery. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually been um, approached by the managers like, hey, you drinking on the job? He's like, no, I drink beer on the weekend and I have a beer when I get home. <laughs> Nobody has a beer when you get home. You get home, you drink. Yeah. You don't have, oh, I'm going to have a beer. 
well, I don't know, unless you're queer or something. I mean, just saying. Oh, he has a few. <laughs> you don't have one beer. I don't. Do you? One bourbon. Life advice from the midget. Two? Yeah, I just. But it's never just or one. Yeah, see, you know what I mean? Just. Depends on who I had to work with that day. If I got Richard, it's a full glass of whiskey. If it's the other shit. You do realize nobody can hear you. It's like dead space. Yeah, nobody can hear you. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. All right. Yeah, he's just describing on how uh, I work how with an more... asshole all day long. Don't you work by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> like, I drink so fucking much. <laughs> he has his own reason to drink. <laughs> hey, man, I'm in the same boat. My my boss is a dick, too. No, my boss is fucking awesome. He leaves me alone. I, I know. I he, one. Your boss is an ass. He wears those shiny fucking <laughs> chandelier pants all the fucking time. Yeah. Hey, that's why I always tease him about his sister's pants. I he mean. thinks Pontiac's <laughs> coming back. Right. <laughs> Bringing sexy butt. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey. 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 That is. He's not on a mic. He's fine. <laughs> that is a gentleman of distinguished color, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say that. Well, we won't get into that because then I always get yeah, in trouble. Yeah, but then it's not a Pontiac. It's like, yeah, go for it. Try to figure that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, that's priceless hammer. I, I don't know what everyone's Cataract. thinking. Everyone knows that beer ain't drinking. I almost took the Cadillac out on my birthday, but then I got mm-hmm. too fucked up to make it there. <laughs> make it where? There to work. Oh. No, because I was on take. We have the floating Cadillac. At work, we have Cadillac. It's a amphibious. And I was on throw it in the lake and get smashed all day long. Well, yeah. You're I got gonna... smashed all day long. I just <laughs> didn't make it to stuck. work. Right. <laughs> Well, I didn't have to work. I was just going to play in the car. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so something we were talking about before the show. You want to hear something funny? What's that? If Matt Kenseth can't find a ride for next year, he may end up being a school bus driver in Cambridge. (laughs) Oh, that's gorgeous. You know what, though? Yeah, that's what he said. He goes, if I can't find a full-time NASCAR ride next year, I'm going to be a school bus driver. You know what? Sweet. You can bet your ass those that those kids, kids are going to get there on time. <laughs> Why? He can't find the winner's circle. What makes you think he's going to find the school? <laughs> oh, shit. That is a good point. Hey, how many wins does Brad have? 24. Total. 24. What the fuck? Brad also has only been racing half the amount of time. How many wins does Kenseth have? I have no idea. I don't watch NASCAR. Yeah, I know. Hold on, I gotta see this. How many wins does Matt Kenseth have? I, I don't watch NASCAR anymore. Oh, here's my boss's yeah. truck. None of them. How many wins does Matt Kenseth have? Hey, Johnny. It's got a big block. And it does wheelies. Nice. And it shoots flames out of the pipes. It's badass. It's over 9,000! He's got cool ass shit. I want his Merc. He's so he's 18, run, uh, Merc how many fucking nice. years? He's ran a lot more years than Brad has, and. Brad has eight less wins. Right, but technology is a has lot a, different now, isn't it? They Kansas isn't only it? have yeah, but when's the last time Kansas won a race? Oh, last year, yeah. not this year. You know, I don't. It's okay. I was. I used to be huge into NASCAR. I still watch it here and there and whatnot. It's well, not like it used to be. Didn't your no, NASCAR? No, didn't your NASCAR watching days die when Dale senior, Earnhardt? Our senior died. That's when I quit watching it. Well, if he wouldn't turn right. Wait, speaking of Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> what? Yeah, I That's honestly haven't watched what, NASCAR either. That first I mean, crash and everything. Like I'll mm. um, I'll watch it if it's you know. Since on. senior pass, so I mean, I just really yeah. don't get into it. Anymore. Near do I? But I I had an idea here the other day. I was thinking about it. Was you know what you should do? Take you know everybody that qualifies right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take the fastest drivers, put them in the slowest cars. Take the guys that are driving the slowest cars, put them in the fastest cars. Right. And then instead of starting, run the track and re- backwards. <laughs> or what would be cool is uh, have the. <laughs> it's not that's a bad idea. That's what I was just going to say. Grab the po- qual- top qualifiers, put them in the rear. All right. That's what they do with the bush shooter or white shooter. Yep. Yeah. yeah. They, they start the fast ones in the back, and then whoever actually gets the back towards the front or the. Can't <laughs> hear you. See, back when <laughs> I ran dirt. Wow, track. I thought he was pushing a button on that one. <laughs> Like, nope. back when I ran dirt track down in Arkansas, you had your heats and you went to your feature. Right. If you won your heat, they had nope. still, uh, you win the heat, you had the option. You could start nope. where you qualify, you know, in first, or you could start in the back, and if you <laughs> came back and won the feature, it was double the prize money. 
All right, so... And that's the problem. No one's got balls anymore. Hammer's brought up the question in the chat room, and since our name of our show is OEM, they're all wondering what OEM is. Good question. And it is Original Equipment Manu... Yeah. Wait. <laughs> fuck. Original Equipment, equipment manufacturer. manufacturer. Thank you. And then you got <laughs> NOS. <laughs> Do you know what NOS I is, I love Dave? the sarcastic clapping. Uh, NOS is something you put in your car in no. the 90s in a no. movie to no. make things do nothing. No. 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 NOS no. is new old stock. <laughs> oh. new old stock. Or a company. <laughs> or a company. NOS is nitrous oxide. Right. It's also, yeah. it's also new old stock. <laughs> like when you get into the classic cars, you'll hear yeah. people talk about NOS all, parts. Yeah. Kenny loves stock. starting new in the back. Stock. No one bothers so, you there. Okay. Well, what, Kenny, what, what dirt track were you running? I ran Watsonville Speedway. Watsonville? Because I know uh, up in some prairie, that's where Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart, you know, they're both in the Hall of Fame up there. Yep. And uh, it was cool watching the midgets run. Not your people, but the cars. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally watching little people run around a midgets track. don't run. <laughs> no, what's, what's funny is that they're also ran on alcohol, so, I mean, it, it you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyways, the I reason I tried why- running an asphalt track once. Yeah, you, me and my cousin had. He ran. When he tripped, it hurt more, didn't it? Yeah, skinned up my knees. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my cousin he ran paved track and I ran dirt track, mm-hmm. and we, you know, argued about who was going to run better. So he brought his car to dirt track, ran it. Didn't do work to shit because it wasn't set up for it. Right. right. I ran my truck on a, or my car on a. Paved track, hit a wall at 60 miles an hour. Nice. Yeah, that felt good. Yeah. Butterfly the wheel. Oh, shit. Broke my nose and fractured my jaw. A yeah. uh, couple there, of ribs, too. Yeah, I mean, they're complete night and day differences. I mean, I, yeah. I do love the dirt track. Dirt, but, I, mean, I love I, dirt track because it... Yeah. Uh, cause you're out of control, but you got to be in control, but you're out of control. Right. Yeah, I turn left to go right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean... He learned that from... <laughs> but no, what I'm saying Cars. is when you're running when you're running on dirt, you want to be sideways in a turn. Yeah. Where when you're running on pavement, you don't if you're run. sideways running on pavement, you got a problem. Yeah. Yep, yep. But when you're on dirt, I mean but there's too much and there's not enough. I mean it's Yeah, yeah it's a balance, yeah. Yeah. It's kinda of like And you know, every night even every heat's not the same. Mm-hmm. Track changes. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. just you got different grooves out there after you're running. I mean, it's just completely different. Yep. And it's a it's a challenge. That's why I like dirt, though. The first four or five heats actually is the slipperiest for that. Oh yeah. Speed. And that's exactly right. Huh. All right. So, anyways, the reason why we're named it OEM is because there's been an issue with some of the man the original manufacturers are actually getting away from trying to cut out the dealers. Mm-hmm. I believe that's what it was. Yeah, it's we had the story up somewhere. Uh, computer, Michael's got it. Michael, what? Safari. you want yeah, uh, to try to find that article for us? Because, uh, yeah, I mean, if they're trying to cut out the dealer, so I wonder what the prices are going to be. Are the prices going to be cheaper now, or are they going to be more expensive? Like, the yeah, the OEM. Mm. It sounds do, like do, they're do, do, they're trying to get away from the dealers, the dealerships. That's what it sounds like to me. I could be totally wrong on that, but. Yep. They're going to have a lot of mismatched parts from like Japan or Korea or whatever the hell. It's going to be the best. Yeah, but when you go, a lot of the newer. What? You got us talking to a mic, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make a drink. But you think of it this way, though. How much how much of that car that, or like my car, your car, anything like that, is actually made by the manufacturer? It's all separate companies anyways. Yeah, it's hard to find a car without... You know, some well, every, part in it. Everything's made by somebody else. Right, I right. think anymore, it's like the name on the car is just basically the final assembly. Right. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Like, most of the stuff that's actually made in the United States by manufacturers of United States cars, they still stamp their own stuff. So you got the fenders, the whole body yeah. made by the manufacturer. The only thing that's usually not is, like, headlights, interior parts. A lot of that's, like, subcontracted out to other places, like mm-hmm. GE or... Whoever, um, my uncle actually makes a lot of the the headlights and taillights for a lot of the automotive industry cars. Um, he designs all that shit. So I mean, the automaker still makes their own engines and shit like yeah. that. But. Well, kind of. Well, unless they, nah, a lot of them are always. going European. Like they're they're getting their inspirations from Europe or even Japan, and 
Well, I mean, look at the Ford, the Ford, new Ford Focuses. They're European yeah, design. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? The RS, the ST, they're all European design. German. The new, the new ones that, you know, that they brought out, which is and why they're so quick. But The Chevy Duramax is actually an Isuzu engine. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which well, is funny is you got these guys that are diehard Chevy, like, oh, I'd never drive an import. So if you're driving a Duramax, <laughs> you're driving an import. I'm sorry, yeah. hate to tell you. So what? What do? You, how do you feel about the the GM? Oh, I'm and sorry, Ford? Kenny. <laughs> how do you feel about the GM and Ford transmission that they built together? I think it's like their 10 speed or something like that. <laughs> it's gonna blow up. Uh, the more gears you have, the more chances you have for something to fail and be to go wrong. Right. But yet right. I well, see. I, mean, that's why I see the benefits too. You know, the higher gears you have, the better fuel economy, and I think that's what they're going for. Kinda. Yeah, but wait until you actually it, have some weight behind those. The more gears, gears is for if you're actually hauling something. These guys are driving these eighty to hundred thousand dollar trucks for driving their kids and picking up groceries, not hauling a oh, ten thousand pound yeah. trailer or a car hauler or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, bad. I mean, one, you're not, you're not driving a Peterbilt to haul a fucking windmill blade to its yeah. new place in southern Pennsylvania. No, you're you're a bitch on a donut run. All right, pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, bad when 90% of the trucks are sitting in suburbia right now. Right. Like, mm. You look at Lot most of the people that yeah. drive trucks, and they're cleaner than <laughs> anybody's cars out there. So, oh, yeah. obviously, they don't use their trucks as trucks. No. Mm-hmm. Like, my guy, my guy is a, my guy fucking haul, or tow his shit. He hauls tractors. He, he's out fucking doing truck shit with his truck. Yeah, so a 10-speed would actually uh, help him. It's yeah. almost like any other semi. They usually have either a 13-speed, usually. Mm-hmm. Um, but the more gears you have the more chances, especially in automatic, for something to fail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of solenoids, a lot of ball bearings, and that brain box is almost a foot and a half long. You bottom it out once, you might be okay. You bottom it out twice, you're screwed. Yeah. Now, is that why a lot of semis stick with a... Is there any automatic semis? Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. there is. Oh, there is? Yep. Yeah. See, I wasn't sure. Yeah. I thought 90% of them were manual. They are. They, they are, but, but there is no. automatic the, It's like slapstick. Oh, okay. So my, my they don't buddy, you got high and low gears. Well, don't they still clutch them then, don't they? <laughs> my my buddy was telling me that like, uh, he he drives rig for um a lumber yard, and he was telling me that he, he they took the governor off his truck because he doesn't you know pull like maximum weight or anything. So he's like, I'll just burn through the gears because you know yeah, the first like seven gears yeah, are governed. Mind. I feel really <laughs> bad for the guy that has to change out that clutch every ten thousand miles. <laughs> right? Yeah. Semis are not easy to work on. I mean, hell, I was working on a lot of the Hemets and stuff like that in the military, mm-hmm. and it's a 1,200-pound to 1,400-pound transmission. Yeah. You have an overhead crane to lift the damn thing out. Mm-hmm. Damn. It, and it, half the time with them, do you got to take the cab off and shit like that? The, the cab actually flips up. Um, they're on hydraulics. You hit the button, the whole cab and everything flips up, so you can actually have full access to the engine transmission, and then mm-hmm. you well, actually nice. lift up the back, which is the... Um, like the loading dock. A lot of them have either a palletized loading system where it has the hooks like you have for garbage pickup, mm-hmm. or it has just your basic semi rear end, which is the hat. <clears throat> My dad drives a truck for a living. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, he was messing with it when we were down there. <laughs> Speaking of semis, though, Dave, you see what uh, Forza 7 brought? Yeah, Something the semi racing. racing. Yeah, you can do semi racing now on Forza 7. Yeah, I was playing the Why? Demo. Yeah. Why not? Why not? It's actually really popular overseas. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They, they race them, they drift them, they do everything with them. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Especially in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it is. The right. So, what did you think of the demo of that, Dave? Loved it. Yeah, I I actually bought when the. I, yeah, when I can afford it, I'm going to buy the game. Hey, you're more than welcome to like come over sometime and, you know. With what time? <laughs> Find it. You got a new job? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I work in Milwaukee now. Oh, do you? Holy shit, man. That's a drive. I work in Hart- well, Heartland, yeah. which is just outside of Milwaukee. That's a drive. Oh, yeah. Well, considering, like, Tuesday night, well, as soon as one guy retires, I'm actually getting a company vehicle. Okay. But I'm waiting for him to retire because he's semi-retired. Mm. How old is he? Uh, he's late 50s. Yeah, you're going to have a long time to wait for No, he's so. he's out. He's going out the door right now. Seriously? That's why they brought me in to take his place. Oh, so he's taking early retirement. Yeah, you make a lot of money What's here. the What's the drive on that for you? How it's, long of a drive? It takes me a little over an hour to get to work. Uh, I'm putting on 100 and, 112 so, miles a day so I've on my done, car. I've done 45, 50-minute drive before, so I can oh, tell yeah. you Monster Energy is going to be your friend. Oh, no, I've done it before. <laughs> I've yeah. I've drove from Beloit to Madison for years right. when I lived in Beloit. 
But man, when I was working in Metal Foundry, dude, I could barely make it home. I was falling asleep. I went off road like Stay one time hydrated. or two. Yeah. But anyways, like. Drive two and a half hours to get there. Two and a half hours home. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they're paying you, good. Yeah. Well, I have I'll have jobs where like uh, Wednesday I'm driving to Wapan. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's traveling job, really? Yeah, there's we've got com- cool. we've got companies in um, Central Illinois. We've got them all the way up in the UK. We've yeah, got them Southern Illinois. Huh? You got a Honeywell plant right outside where her Dad lives. Mm-hmm. They make actually. Yeah. That's where they pull the uranium and turn and, it into. And the nice thing is, if I have to stay overnight somewhere, they pay for my hotel room. They pay for my food. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they I pay for everything. Had, I almost had a job like that. It's another inspection company. They do like power outages and stuff. But the only thing is, is I'd have to move all the way down to North Carolina. Who knows? What the hell's wrong with that, man? That's a nice yeah. place. It, it, um, it was with my wife at the time, her father. Leave her here. <laughs> no, it was with her Well, dad. now, well, and, uh, her. I guess we're not, well, he has to o- now. My only issue. Put it that way. Right. My <laughs> my only issue was my family, my kids, because they would, uh, because we would be stationed in North Carolina, but they'd send you to North Ca- South Carolina for two weeks. They send you to other states, other cities for two weeks at a stretch. So... You start off at 15 an hour, and then once you're all licensed and everything and x-rays and all that stuff, you, you get up into the 20s. Yeah, see, I'm making so. right now 17 an hour for training. After training's done, it'll be 19. Yep. Every year, it's a $2 raise. Full benefits, full everything. And the company right now, they give out end-of-year bonuses. Right now, they're on track to giving their guys a ten grand bonus check at the end of the year. You'll actually get cut in. Nice. Probably. probably. I'm figuring if they Pro-rated. prorate it, I'll probably get like maybe two grand or something like no, that. They, they generally actually give everybody the same. If so, you've been there for at least like a, a quarter of the year, which you have actually will be. Well, quarter, I'll s- s- yeah, I guess. The, you, you'll be in the fourth quarter of, of their fiscal year. Yeah. Well, and they, the fact my, oh, well, it's kind of my, it, my uncle owns the company, so it kind of helps a little. Dave, you, don't need hey, the, you don't need the campground anymore, Dave. Sponsor <laughs> me. Ten grand would go awesome. Well, I know he's talking about the reason why he brought me in is he wants to keep the business in family. And eventually he's like, if you like it, maybe I'll sell you the company and we'll do it like payment plan type deal. So, so. Contract. Mm-hmm. so I don't know. I may end up right, this. Huh? Sounds like a good yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's worth yeah, it in I'm the skipping. long run. Like I told him, it sounds like a place I could probably retire from. Sponsorship. <laughs> Oh yeah, Dave. I mean, it sounds like something. Got mine. You know, eventually, you'll be able to not even have to go to work anymore. Just hey, you guys do it. <laughs> mm. Screw you up. guys. I'm going home. No, screw you guys. I'm staying home. <laughs> Walk in there Monday morning, eight o'clock. I feel like I need a long weekend. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing that for the last month. Long weekends? No, I've been taking my sick days on Fridays. <laughs> nice. Since September. Nice. Sweet. My new job at 9.30. Cool. 9.45. Yeah, you do have a new job. I, you were talking about that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Still doing the same thing, but now I don't have to travel no more. And that's a plus. I'm only out the world. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to do it. There you go. Still Always a good thing. Still working on. Better money or same amount or... Better. There you go. You See, it's a plus. Benefits. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, I can still hear him, but <laughs> um, it's I got better benefits, better pay. Anything after eight hours is time and a half, and if I work more than forty-eight hours that week, it's double time. Nice. Yep, yep. That's how it was. So when I was working at the foundry, anything over actually when I started working at the foundry, anything over eight hours for that day was over considered yep, overtime, right. and then uh, like. Within like like five years later, they're like, oh well, we can't do that anymore. So anything over forty, and then I was like, okay, then Sunday is double time. I get double. Uh, Friday usually by, well, two o'clock. I'm in double time. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And well, like last week, I only worked a week or a day and a half last week because of rain. But he treated me good. 
So it works out pretty good. So I, I had an interesting customer come in, comes up to me and goes, Hey, can you can you wrap this golf cart for me? Mm-hmm. Sure, I, I kinda get the gist of it. I've you know, two hundred bucks. Let's I'll try it. Okay, so he goes, Oh yeah, and I also have a you know, he goes, What do you do here? I'm like, I do a professional auto detailing, I'm I clean them. He goes, Oh well I have a fifty seven Chevy golf cart and he goes, I have a fifty seven Chevy to match it too. <laughs> you should see the stuff I get to like when I work in the shop the cars I get to work next to. Like the other day I did an oil change on a quad axle on one of our Macs. Nineteen fifty. Mark mm-hmm. lead sled. Oh. Nice. I mean chopped up. Complete old school. Flat right. black, old school flames. Uh still got a flat head in it. And then nice. he's got the wheelie truck. I mean he, all kinds of shit. That's cool, man. Yeah, because he's got a lot of cool things out there. I know you were talking about possibly bringing him on the show and talking. Yeah. He's been a monster garage. Uh, like and if, a cable guy, only in America. And if anybody's like knows the area we're in and seen the truck and the tree on I, was it I-43, right? It's 43, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, That's they'll know who we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I passed it on the way here. It was awesome. Yep. Mm-hmm. He just painted that actually a couple of weeks ago. He had to repaint it. He's got a man lift gets up there. How long has that thing been in the tree? Used, no. that, believe it or not, no. Yeah. Uh, long time. Before the truck was up there, he had a General Lee up there, and then he took that and put it on the bar. And oh, really? The truck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so he the owns bar, too. I've yeah. seen Boar's Nest the bar or too. something? Yep. Yeah, the Boar's Nest in Elms Grove. Okay. But uh, that General Lee that's on the, that used to be in the tree, mm-hmm. and they took that down and put it on the bar, and they put that truck in the tree. So yeah. now is the truck just a shell, or? No, it's a full frame truck. The so only thing that's not in there is a motor and tranny. Oh, okay. So it is. It's everything else but that. Yeah. Well, that's the same thing with uh, Quaker Steak. They got a Corvette on the wall. No motor, no trans, but the fucking everything else is still there. In it. I mean, yeah. All the brakes are still on. Everything. I mean. So technically, if you want, blah, technically, if you want to pull it down, he could throw an engine to trans, and away it goes. I obviously have to do a lot of work, but I mean. Yeah, but. Still, everything's pretty much there. Yeah, it's all. It's a that's pretty cool. Truck. That is awesome because that is a cool truck. 1958 Chevy Apache. You know how many people kill for that truck? I'm one of them. I had one. That's why I want that truck. <laughs> well, I'll say one of these days they'll come out, the tree's cut down, truck's gone. <laughs> right, the Apache in the front yard. Kenny's driving away with the truck in his uh, bucket. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know where the truck went to. Don't look up. <laughs> I had... The one I had is 58, because I took it and pulled the plate body off of it. What are you and, uh, doing? I put all it on an 82 one-ton Chevy four-wheel drive frame with Dana 60s under it, <laughs> one ton. It had a 454 to four-speed. Sweet. 44-inch Super Swampers. I had a 12-inch Skyjacker lift on it. a sweet truck. Kind of looks like the truck from... Have you seen the movie Monster Trucks? No. Oh, kind of like that, yeah. Yeah. That one's a step side, and that's a 59. Oh, I don't know. My kids love that movie. It is a pretty good movie. Yeah. Like, I haven't seen that yet. It's good. But I can honestly say, though, watching Monster Trucks at the end, it, like, almost made me tear up. Really? Yeah, it's pretty sad. I'm sitting there watching it. It's like, hmm. I could feel it, like, starting in my eyes, because it was... I I don't know. I get into those touching, like, father-son scenes or whatever. I've never seen it, so... It's a good movie. Is it? Oh, yeah. Kids like it. Yeah. Yeah, the boys absolutely loved it. It's not as good as American Graffiti, but... Well, no, <laughs> what I mean... <laughs> or Tulane Blacktop, or Christine, or, you know... Tulane Blacktop's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. American, not the second one. The second one was queer, but the first American Graffiti... I remember watching that one. I was just shitting in diapers, you know, when it came out. And that's the best Hot Rod movie. And it's or, a true story. Yeah. Sweet. I still put a uh, bandit up there too. I still put the bandit up there. I I love bandit, the original bandit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, two was okay, but three was trash. Three was dumb. Oh, That's let's put it on shelf. Yeah. Smokey and the Bandit is the best romantic movie you'll ever watch. Yeah. Well, Bullshit. even the Deadpool is. Oh, no, I like, love Deadpool. No, and yeah. you're not even talking about the girl in it. You're just yeah. talking about a man in his car. <laughs> and that. Fucking uh, the 84 Kenworth with the two-stroke Detroit in it. Yep, yep. Greatest love story right there. The reason I love that movie so much is because uh, when that movie came out, 
my dad bought a 1984 Kenworth that year. Oh, really? In September. I was born in October, and my dad wanted to name me Kenworth. My mom wouldn't let him, so he named me Kenny Wynn. Growing up, everybody called me KW. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. That's all uh, fucked up, you know, red <laughs> my family is. I named me after his truck. But I remember, I mean, that truck was a badass truck. Hey, hey, I named my kid after, like, the Camaro I had when I found out she was pregnant. I'm all like, on Camaro, blocks? Cameron, sounds good enough. <laughs> <Blocks>. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was actually on Jackson's at the time because I was uh, taking the body down. Yeah, the blocks back under the foundation. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, the car was Barbie pink when I got it because it was candy apple. Why does that figure? <laughs> I, I, see that. I, well, knew it. I would not have admitted it, that. The car, well, the car was candy apple red, but it was so sunbaked it faded well, to pink. Yeah. Hey, speaking of the unholiest man in the world, Lavin's in the chat room. No way. What's up, Lavin? Up. Oh. Hey, so hey, can, can we get some? Kenworth, why not international? <laughs> can we get some uh, sappy music no for the romance that Dave's going to have? <laughs> Wait. Did you did you nickname your Camaro Pussy Breaker, Pink? Shaker, don't you break her. <laughs> no, I. No, just slow. <laughs> that that didn't that pink didn't last long. I I took sanders and grinders to the body and just got all that pink shit off. Actually, I have the perfect music for uh, this oncoming Is romance the, between do, do, Gremlin do, do, do. and Lavin. There you go, Dave. Lavin, I miss you, man. When are you gonna be here? Hey, uh, table flip. Somebody you said you were supposed music. to be. Somebody said you were supposed to be here at the end of October. <laughs> But anyways, enjoy Florida. Oh shit, we got we got Stone Cold, and he's gonna be Macho Man, right? <laughs> Are you on phone with us? A little bit, yeah. Is he responding? To he you? says soon, very soon. <laughs> I'll get we're the, gonna have to go out and go. So we're gonna have to clean off the uh, windshield or windows on the deck hammer. Go drinking, hit up some clubs. Oh God, no. Says word. Thanks, guys. Wait if minute. anybody's curious, Wait. Lavin is our so shred neck. Knows what the word was, right? What word? The bird. <laughs> the bird, bird I'm not bird, even biting. Has the word. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just heard Hammer say "fuck off." <laughs> but yeah, he's the guy that's got this network running or s- helped start up and massively. Mm-hmm. And he runs Wyme Sports. How long is this fucking music? Or is it just on a loop? <laughs> Some, like, I don't know. We have <laughs> I'm working on it. If He's I can talking find, about like, a pink Camaro on blocks, and you're talking about bring back the manlyhood. No, I want to hear some metal. Like, can you do me a favor, Johnny? Stand up for a second. No, nah, man. Right. Oh, you're wearing your sister's <laughs> pants again, ain't you? He is. Okay. <laughs> my, girl, my girlfriend's pants, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you're dating your girlfriend, and everybody makes fun of me from being Arkansas? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that usually what happens? You date your girlfriend? No, that's a sister. Well, he said his sister. I asked him about sister's Either way, pants. it's a good He's night. Like, well, I'm older than my girlfriends. I mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> she wears the pants, you know. Well, you got the skirt <laughs> half the time. Yeah, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell, I'm, I'm making my fucking day. kilt. I want a kilt. Frankenstein kilt. Fuck yeah. I don't have enough leather to make one out of one solid piece of fabric, so. Yeah. And? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we shot a rabbit yesterday. That was pretty awesome. Had bigger nuts than him. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I just broke my rabbit fur flogger last night. That pissed me off. Well, RJ just got his hunt license, got a small game license, so he can kill shit now. So he can... <laughs> I love how he puts it. He can kill shit now. <laughs> well, I just told him. It. Well, he's got to learn. You know, what I mean, like you don't shoot or you don't shoot shit. Just shoot it. You shoot it so you can eat it. Well, so he destroyed this rabbit though with twelve gauge. That <laughs> usually <laughs> happens. <laughs> 12 gauge plus rabbit equals nothing left but memories. No, just blow their heads off. They still get the meat. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot of nothing Yeah. Just blow the heads off. They reach in, grab the guts, pull it out. Start at the top, you just pull the heads off. Yep. Straight down. And this has been cooking with. <laughs> oh, yeah. I make some great possum stew. <laughs> you ever had canned possum? Mm-hmm. No, I haven't had canned possum. I like fresh possum. Green possum? Yeah. You ever got Shakira's fat ass? <laughs> nope. Hell no. yeah. I actually grossed out my teacher back in high school because I did that. I uh, She's like, well, you got, uh, everyone's project is to create a menu for like a restaurant. I'm like, okay, Roadkill Cafe, and everything or on the menu was something that you could scrape off the road and cook it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's like, gross. I used to have that shirt. <laughs> I had the shirt. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kenny had that lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> had. Where do you think it was grocery shopping? <laughs> <laughs> Driving down the road. Deer! <laughs> Dude, there's a whole bunch of ground-up ones at I-90. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's hey, out of my it back is. Back road. Thanksgiving is coming, so just take fi- or Highway 59. I'm sure you'll hit a turkey. <laughs> I was running down. We were running down 14 one day, running late, and this doe jumped out in front of me, and I was on the phone with my boss. Hey, hold on. I got to get supper. <laughs> well, I've never seen a deer do this. It, I kind of seen it jump. I'm going to be so late, but I'm bringing dinner. It, you know? I was in a company truck, so I, I was doing 60, 65, and I backed out of it. Well, the deer, instead of going across the road, it turned and was running down the... Well, by then, I was up on it, and I couldn't fucking stop. So I just got right back into it. I split that deer right down the center. Ran right up its ass and over its head. Uh, <laughs> flattened it. It was awesome. <laughs> and I was talking to my boss, and uh, I had... I was a foreman at the time, so I had my ground guy with me and uh, another grunt. And uh, they're like, deer, whoo! And I ran it over. And she said, Kenny, I said, hey, I just hit a deer. How's the truck? I said, it's still on the fucking road. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Oh, that was cool. Though. I mean, I split that deer right down the back. Back strap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So <laughs> yeah, I've almost hit. I've almost hit. Um, <laughs> that, we tried. I've it fizzled hit, out. I've almost hit peacock. I've almost hit turkeys. I've almost. Where hit the deer. fuck have you hit a peacock at around here? Um, oh, highway one hundred six. Really? Yep, yep. Yes, I have. A, I have. I have pictures of it. She has a picture of the fucking thing through a city. Yes, I didn't yes. think that. Yeah. They're not. I think they're pets that got out and yeah. people just never. Who has wanted. a pet for a pe- a Who's lot of people. A lot of the farms no, around I'm, here do. I'm, I'm just saying, they, that'd be the perfect thing. We'll wait until you're, like, passed out one time drunk. We'll get a no. peacock, put it in your basement. You come no. down in the morning. The fuck? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> 106 yes. outside of Fort Atkinson. Put a new wedding ring on Hammer's finger. Put a bride's <laughs> veil on the peacock. <laughs> <laughs> Do anyway. not pass out for April Fools. Uh, uh, hey, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly where it is. One hundred six and um, the corner of one hundred six. We're at one hundred six. Takes right that corner. There's a, there's always a fucking peacock there and a turkey. You know, if we did that though, the next day, Hammer would be like, "Hey, who wants to come over for a cookout?" I'd be like, "Hey, Hammer, do you like what you had downstairs? I don't know. You like what's on your plate?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what? My old that man was ain't going to be there for long. I just right. put all my guns back. <laughs> <laughs> my old man. Oh, so was, you're going to be the first in, one he calls? My old man was in basic. Huh. They were doing the 20 mile hike, and Sweet. on the way out, you know, everybody kind of gave a wide berth to this dead pelican that was on the ground and on the way back it wasn't there anymore it's like oh okay you know they cleaned it up whatever and they get to the mess today's menu has been changed to chicken <laughs> no one ate that day chicken ish <laughs> <laughs> uh fond memories it was a good sized rabbit i mean that's a good size. <laughs> oh man Dude, the only rabbit I hit was awesome because I looked in my rear view. Right I, I, I hit it. it. I don't know how I hit it, but basically it would yeah. did like a fucking First tornado. Kill. It just like spun yeah, out of control. It was awesome. All right, guys. Well, we're kind of running out of time for this week. Um, well, we ran out Tiffany's showing me a picture of bird. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Hey, I still oh, think I have shut that. Up. I still think I have you a picture of uh, a bird on her shoulder. 